Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. This is Pradeep and you're watching Vlog of Note. One of the reasons that you guys keep coming back to this channel is because I, like you, am obsessed with smartphone processors. Anything to beat Qualcomm and Apple. So we have rumors of Samsung plus AMD. Let's get started. Let's start off with a timeline here. Last year, in June 2019, it seems so far away right now, right? Anyway, we had a partnership between Samsung and AMD. I will link to it in the description. There is a press release right next to that like button in which they're giving out very little details. They talk about ultra high performance and ultra low power consumption. It's interesting that they use the word ultra because we have the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra now. But anyway, the other things they say is that they are going to be using AMD's then announced RDNA micro architecture and that this will power upcoming smartphones and potentially tablets. I'd like to say here, Dr. Lisa Su, I'm a big fan of AMD. I love what you guys are doing to laptops and desktops. Nvidia and Intel, you guys should be really worried. Thank you very much. Anyway, moving on, after that, we did not have too much information, but in August of 2019, we had a white paper from AMD. I will link to that as well in the description. It talks about three major advantages of RDNA. The first one is an enhanced L1 and L2 cache of 64 to 512 KB. Now, what is a cache? It's the layer in between, that's C-A-C-H-E. Now, for example, I ask you, what is five times seven? And you tell me the answer is 35. You store it in your cache so that the next time someone else asks you, you don't have to do an expensive computational exercise. The next advantage is a reduction in the work items per core from 64 to 32. I know what you're thinking, 64 is more than 32, but picture this, what happens if you have to move a truck? from one end of the road to the other and the road is really wide, it's an advantage. But what happens when you have to move a small car or a small amount of data from one end of the road to the other and the road is wide, it's wasted space. So enhanced parallelization can be achieved by reducing the work items per co. And the third advantage, it has something called asynchronous compute tunneling or ACE. Shouldn't it be ACT? But anyway, this enhances the compute and graphics harmonious performance resulting in enhanced machine learning. There, I've explained a white paper to you in under two minutes. You're welcome. Now, recently in May 2020, we had a leaked benchmark. I will link to that as well in the description, which compares the AMD RDNA infused Exynos chipset upcoming possibly the Exynos 1000, to the Adreno 650 powered Snapdragon 865 processor, which is currently on every flagship Android phone. Now the results are rather interesting. There are three major benchmarks. The first one is called Manhattan 3.1, in which the AMD chip scores 50% more. The second one is called Aztec Normal, in which the AMD chip scores 150% more. And the third one is called Aztec High, in which the AMD chip scores almost 200% more than the Adreno chip. I'm smiling right now because AMD is going to cream Qualcomm. Keep in mind here that the AMD chip is only coming out in 2021, possibly with the Samsung Galaxy S21. And by that time, we will probably also have the Snapdragon 875 with the Adreno 700 GPU. But going by Qualcomm's usual trend, it will probably increase performance by about 20% and certainly not 200%. I'm going to leave you with the carrot and the stick here. The carrot here is that Samsung only invests in things that give it money or happiness, and they've been aggressive in going out and signing other Android manufacturers to use their Exynos processors. The cream of the cake here is that next year's Nintendo Switch is possibly going to be powered by Exynos plus AMD, resulting in better performance for your Animal Crossing game. Oh, and Exynos has also ditched their Mongoose cores. They're only going to be using off-the-shelf ARM cores going forward. Final stick here is that I have also linked in the description to the change.org petition for Samsung to stop selling us inferior Exynos phones. As you keep signing it, as it crosses 50,000, Samsung will be incentivized to give us better Exynos processors because they owe us. That's about it for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any comments on RDNA and Exynos, please drop them in the comment section down below. As always, please go over to YouTube and subscribe to the Vlog of Note channel. Ring that notification bell so that you never miss a video and I will see you guys in the next episode.